It's going to be on.
Terry Sherman from Big Time Small Town Media welcoming you to back to Akron High School, Akron, Colorado, for the annual Akron Invitational Volleyball Tournament here on ColoradoPreps.tv and Chassa.tv. So excited to be able to bring this to you on a Saturday. That's a full Saturday here. This is our third match of pool play. We have Simla and Yuma, both 1-0 and o today. They each took out Wiggins in their opening matches. They took four sets for Yuma to, get, to dispatch Wiggins. And some of you probably just watched Simla completed a three-set sweep of the Lady Tigers. Winner of this will advance to this afternoon's championship. And we believe that will most likely be against Akron, who uh, defeated Otis in the first match of pool play on the other court. They are currently going up against Frontier Academy. Otis took out Frontier Academy just a little bit ago. Loser of this contest will likely face Otis for third place. And we believe Wiggins will see Frontier Academy for fifth. Logan Hickson starts things off with the serve. Attacked by Jessica George, and she's got a quick point. Deep serve by Lutz. Traffigan just shoots, sets it across. George dunks one over, and that one off the ceiling. Point to the Lady Cubs. Lutz again serves Powell. That's Madison Powell in the back row. Traffigan off the net, and... Three Lady Cubs attempting to pancake. None of them could get it up, and Yuma on the board. Kalen Block serves it away, going right at. Didn't see who that was in the back row for Simla. It was number six, Casey Smith. Simla scores on the attack. George now to serve. Punches one to the Librero Mecklenburg. Powell on the attack. Dug up back row by George. Mitchell tries to dump one over. Dug up. And Marina Hansen gets the point on the kill for Yuma. Tara Traffigan, the freshman, now to serve for Yuma. Punches one down to the similar librero. Brett Smith dug up. Kinsey Mitchell skies to the cross court, dug up. And Hanson dumps it over. Mitchell dumps one down off the block, out of bounds to be the point to Simla. Marilyn Alexander heading back to serve. She'll go at block, digs it up, set for Carly Corey. Yuma thought there should be a touch at the net. No call, out of bounds on the attack, point to the Lady Cubs. And Alexander with the serve, goes deep and beyond the baseline. Makes it 5-3. And Marina Hansen now with the serve. She'll jump serve. Goes down the middle for Brett Smith off the ceiling. And Alexander just soft dumps one over. Kara Mecklenburg dove, got the pancake save up, but nobody else got to it. And the point goes to the Lady Cubs. 
Sammy Katz served down the middle for block. Attack on the outside by, I believe, number 10. That is Molly Harriff. She got the ball down to the floor for the point. Tristan Bakke on serve for Yuma. Overpass, and it's put down by Corey. Yuma within one. That's 6-5. They trail. Bakke again, deep for Brett Smith down the middle. Alexander tried the back set. Overpassed it, and Yuma could not take advantage of it. Point to Simla. Kenzie Mitchell on the jump serve. Beckelberg gets it up. Corey off speed, but underneath the net after the hit. And Simla out to a three-point advantage. And Mitchell will go with the jump serve. Off the net cord, dug up by Caitlin Murphy. Corey with the attack, dug up by Alexander, set her out. Casey Smith, her attack dug. Murphy. And Semla unable to get it up. Corey hits the serve. On the line, in the far corner, the ace makes it a one-point contest. In Carly Corey serves it at Brett, uh, Casey Smith. Jessica George Skies, her attack dug by Corey, dumped over by Traffigan. Middle attack, George again, dug by Corey. Caitlin Murphy with the attack dug by Brett Smith. The attack by Harrop dug by Brett Smith. And hustle by the Cubs get it over. Murphy off speed dug by George. George will try to dump it across. And dug by Hansen. And then over the net but out of bounds point to Simla. Fantastic rally here. Casey Smith served, dug by Mecklenburg. Attack by, I believe that was Traffigan, was blocked, and it'll go out of bounds off of Yuma. 10-7 is the count. Smith again. Goes middle for... Bakke, George with the block, they'll set George, she's blocked, Alexander dumps it over, punched back over by Traffigan, George out of the middle, dug by Bakke, Traffigan, her middle hit, dug out by Mitchell, they'll go back row attack Mitchell, dug up, back over for Simla, Alexander at the net, pumped it over. Mecklenburg got it off. And George dug. Mecklenburg from the back row. Dug by the libero, Brett Smith. And finally, Jessica George pounds it down. Found an opening in that scrambling Yuma defense for the point. And that serve from Casey Smith. Just a, about six inches long, or too long rather. Logan Hickson comes in to serve. Yuma trails 11 to eight. Hickson to serve, dug up by Casey Smith. Jessica George tries to just shoot a set into the deep corner and got a little wide. Yuma down two, Hickson again. Punches one right down the middle, dug up by Mitchell. Outside attack from Jessica George, dug up. 
Now Caitlin Murphy off the outside attack and gets it down. Yuma within one. And the official taking a timeout, I believe. Marilyn Alexander lost a contact, got it back in. Hickson, chance to tie. And serves it right into the net. So the serve will go over to Hannah Lutz. Punches one deep, bumped up by Hansen. Mistiming and miscommunication. Like Hickson wanted to go to Traffigan on the middle and Traffigan left her feet too quickly. Three point lead. That serve is wide and out of bounds. We'll give a point to Yuma. They cut it back to two. Kaylin Block. She'll just get it over the net. Dive by Mitchell. George attack again, too deep. Yuma back within one, chance to tie. Kaylin Block on the serve. And off the net court and down. We are tied at 13. Chance to take the lead now for the Lady Indians. Deep serve, too deep, out of bounds. Lead goes back to Simla. Jessica George will step to the service line. It's one in the middle for Mecklenburg. Popped up, back set, a little off the mark, and Traffigan had to reach for it, couldn't get it over. George serves block, pumps it up. Shoot outside for Murphy off the block, Alexander. Overpass and Mitchell puts it down. George serves it to Mecklenburg. Back set for Traffigan. Dug up by Smith. Hickson hustles to save one up, but no one there to help her out, and that ball hits the floor on the Yuma side. Official timeout. Well, Mecklenburg ties a shoe. Simla has pushed out to a 17-13 advantage. Jessica George again with the serve. Mecklenburg. And now Powell off over the block, and Simla can't chase it down. Yeah, Traffigan will head back to serve now for the Lady Indians. Down the middle to Brett Smith, pops it up. Outside set for Mitchell. Traffigan got a hand on it, couldn't pop it up. And the point to Semla. Alexander hits one over. And just inside the baseline. For the ace, timeout for Yuma. They trail 19-14 here from Akron. Yuma District Hospital offers a full range of services, including inpatient care, surgical care, obstetrics and delivery, 24-hour emergency room, and home health care. Yuma Clinic, staffed by family practice physicians and physician's assistants, hold appointments Monday through Friday and take walk-ins on Saturday mornings. The Center for Specialty Medicine, also located in the hospital, provides space for visiting specialists in a wide range of medicine. Yuma District Hospital and Clinics, the preferred provider of high-quality primary care services in Yuma and Washington County. County. Five point difference between Simla and Yuma. Again, winner of this match will play for the championship. All three of the placing matches will be available today on ColoradoPreps.tv and Chassa TV. Alexander again towing the service line, punches one down the middle. Dug up by Block. Corey uh, mistimed her jump. Got it over. Alexander punches one down the middle. 
dug up by Mecklenburg. Hansen didn't get enough under it and couldn't get it over. Alexander will stay on serve, leading by six. This one again dug up by Block. Back set for Powell off the net. They say touched. Block into the block of Mitchell. Mitchell knocked it out of bounds. Again back within five. Marina Hansen comes back in or comes back to serve. Little floating jump serve. Middle attack by Mitchell blocked. Mitchell again, and she's in the net. <laughs> Ball got stuck underneath my chair here. Yuma cuts it to four. Again, the jump serve dug up by Brett Smith. Middle attack by Mitchell, blocked, and down on the similar side. Yuma refusing to go away, down three. Hanson down the middle, popped up by Brett Smith. Outside attack by... I believe Mitchell off the block and out, point for Simla. Sammy Katz now serving. Deep and block able to get to it and on three could not get the ball over. Again, lead goes back to five. Katz with the deep serve. Pumped up by Block. Powell's attack blocked by Mitchell. She plays it. Mitchell shoots it over, dug up by Block. Harriff will shoot, set one down the line and in. We got a 22 to 18 count. Couple of subs in for Yuma. And that's Bakke. Dug up by Mitchell. Bumped over by George. Played by Mecklenburg. Middle attack for Corey. Mitchell pounds one down into the Yuma defense for a point. Now Yuma in trouble. The jump serve from Mitchell gets Simla to set point. And Yuma will take a timeout. Be back with you in 30 seconds here. Big Time Small Town Media's broadcast of volleyball on Colorado Preps TV and Chassa TV. Washington County. Acronautos, proud to be the best pre-owned automobile dealership in northeastern Colorado. Quickly expanding, Acronauto has two locations. The original on Highway 34 in Akron and a second on Highway 34 in Fort Morgan. Acronauto wishes to thank local patrons for making their business possible and asks visitors to stop in and see what may be on the lot for you. Tax time is the perfect time to use your rebate on a car, truck, or SUV upgrade. Acronauto, better for your budget. In 1916, it is estimated that producing 100 bushels of corn took approximately 35 to 40 hours. Today, it is estimated... We're back out of the timeout. And the similar serve, too deep, out of bounds. Yuma fights off one set point. Corey punches one down, dug up by Casey Smith, dump over by Alexander. Traffic and attack dug out, and Semla unable to keep it going. Yuma cuts it to four. We may have to uh, reboot. Jessica George into the block and back down on the Semla side. Corey again goes to 
Smith dug up. And that's Murphy, cut it too much and out of bounds. Set one to the Lady Cubs, 25-21. Back in a couple of minutes for second set action here from the Akron Invitational. In 1916, it is estimated that producing 100 bushels of corn took approximately 35 to 40 hours. Today, it is estimated that producing the same 100 bushels takes less than three. A lot has changed in the last 95 years, but one thing has stayed the same. Farm credit is still the lender of choice for America's farmers and ranchers. We are passionate about agriculture and are dedicated to serving America in good times and bad. This is Jordan Wilkie in the Yuma Lending Office. Give us a call today to see how we can help you. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. For too long, we've spent our weekends searching for the right tool when we should have been using the right tool. It's time to go to Ace! We'll find Craftsman Tools the second we walk in. We can fix that wobbly table and still have time for televised sports. Get your weekend back! Ace is the place for Craftsman Tools. With two locations to better serve you in Ray and Yuma, visit Quality Farm and Ranch. Open 7 to 7 each Monday through Saturday and on Sunday from 9.30 till 5.30. Ace, the helpful place. These days, there's no free lunch, no free ride, not even any free time. Well, at Bank of Colorado, we're putting an end to all that. Because our personal free checking and personal free collection serve up a whole lot of free. You'll start with free checking, free online banking, free telebank access, free pin pay, and more. Then when you add our personal free collection, you'll get a free savings account, free appraisal with your next mortgage, and more. So if you want to bring back the free, apply today to open a new account. Visit bankofcolorado.com and long live free. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Since 1968, Interstate Irrigation on East Highway 34 has been providing our community with municipal and agricultural parts and service. Interstate Irrigation uses only high-quality parts, including chem valves, butterfly valves, water meters, all types and sizes of gaskets, water screening systems, and various sizes of professional-grade galvanized dog legs. Interstate Irrigation will go far and wide to help keep your water and sewer system functioning at the highest possible level. Whether you need parts, service, or simply an answer to a question, call 848-5809 and let Ward or Ray at Interstate Irrigation fill all your system needs. We're back in Akron, ready to get the second set underway between uh, Yuma and Simla. Hannah Lutz gets things started. Her sort of dug up by Mecklenburg. Big swing out of traffic and dug out. Lock. Mecklenburg sprawls, keeps it alive. Well, that's Murphy with the big swing. And Mitchell unable to dig it up. Yuma out 1-0 to start things now in this second. And that's Logan Hickson to serve it up for Yuma. It popped up by George. Back row attack from Mitchell. Dug up. Now Murphy into the block. And out of bounds by Murphy. Alexander on the block. Jessica George serving. And just does get it over the net. Dug out by Mecklenburg. And then Tara Traffigan with the middle kill. Kalen blocks, served, dug up, and Mitchell hits one into the net. Well, Kalen Block will go back and serve again, leading by two. It's this one to George. George shanks it out of bounds. Coach Sue Snyder up, getting on her team. Brett Smith digs the serve. Big swing from Mitchell off the block of traffic and out of bounds. Point to the Lady Cubs. Alexander punches it over. No, gets it into the net. And traffic in serve popped up by Smith. Casey Smith off the block and Yuma punches it out of bounds. It's 
Sammy Katz drives one down the middle, dug up by Block. Big swing out of Corey, dug up. And the big swing this time from Casey Smith, it's Doug. Madison Powell's attack dug up. Casey Smith dug. And this time, no one's going to get to that swing from, I believe that was Marina Hansen with the kill. Jump serve out of Hansen down the middle, popped up by Smith. And Mitchell able to dump one down right just inside the line for Simla. Jump serve out of Mitchell. Down the middle, popped up by Block. And that was Harris on the swing. Semla able to get it over and down for the point. Mitchell will again go for the jump serve. Down the middle, it's popped out of there by Block. Middle attack by Corey. Got it down, and Simla was also in the net. That puts it back to a two-point advantage. And Tristan Baki comes in to do the serving for Yuma. Senior punches one down, dug up by Casey Smith. And Yuma just gets it over. Big swing out of Jessica George, but she's in the net on the follow-through. Point to Yuma. Keeps it a three-point lead. Baki serve short, and Brett Smith, the libero, can't get to that. That's an ace for Tristan Baki. She'll hammer this one again to Smith. She got it up. Little dump by George. Murphy hits it back over for Yuma. This time Casey Smith just kind of dumps it over the net. Back goes the attack from Corey. And that will be a point for Yuma. And I believe we've got a timeout coming from Simla. Here, Yuma out to a 10-5 lead in this second set. Match three from the Akron Invitational. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545, and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. Coming in, we had heard that Yuma, a very talented team, consistency was going to be the question. Uh, they have played well today, especially here against Simla. Playing a high caliber opponent and they have brought their level of play up. Had moments of lapses against Wiggins earlier this morning. And that one went four. They've looked very good here against the Lady Cubs. That serve deep, bumped up by Smith. That'll be Jessica George skying to get it down. Baki tried to get the pancake, couldn't quite get underneath of it. And the point to the Lady Cubs. Just Casey Smith serving it for Simla. Bumped up by, I believe by Baki. Just bumped over by Murphy. George was blocked at the net by Murphy. Murphy will just bump it over. Smith. Now Alexander, middle attack for George, off the net, saved by Mecklenburg. Murphy hits one over, dug by George, or Mitchell. George gets the kill off of a diving Tristan Bakke to cut it to three. Well, 
That one from Smith will head too far to the left and out of bounds. That's Car uh, Corey with the serve and that attack by George misses the line. Another point for Yuma. And Carly Corey on the serve. Drives one to Brett Smith, gets it up. George goes cross court, and Bucky just kind of got her arms up in self-defense, and that'll go out of bounds off of her. Hannah Lutz to serve. She goes short in the middle, dug up by wasn't sure who got to that one. Mitchell with the back row attack and finds the back corner. I believe it was... Yeah, it's Hanson in the back row now for Yuma. That's who fielded the last serve. See if Lutz goes towards her again. She does. Set for the middle. I believe that's Murphy in the middle. Oh, crap. Behind. We'll, have to, we'll have to double check our scoreboard here. Next opportunity we get. Missed something. That's a point for Yuma. We'll get the score updated as quickly as we can here. That's Hickson off the net. Mitchell dove and kept it alive. Got it over. Big swing out of traffic again. Dug up. Yuma again. Shoot it out for number five. I think that's Terrell. Got it up. Couldn't get it back. And Simla gets the point. And that makes it 13 to 12 in favor of Yuma. Another good rally. And that ties it as Hansen hits that attack into the net. George towing the line, pounds one down the middle. Missed timing a little on that swing. And now Mitchell getting it going a little bit. Hit a little off-speed shot and got it down for the lead. Timeout, Yuma, back in 30 seconds. Sitto has been a staple in eastern Colorado since 1971. Since 1977, Sitto has been your place to go for trusses, wall panels, and buildings. With state-of-the-art equipment allowing Sitto to stay on top of the truss industry, Sitto wants you to know that while the economy has affected everybody, it's allowed them to provide some different services while being able to maintain their spot as one of the top truss manufacturers in Colorado. Contact Sitto Building Components out of Otis at 800-925-3207. That's Sitto, proud to support Eastern Colorado. Eisen Oil has been supporting our community for over 65 years and is the leading supplier in propane, Sinclair diesel and gas, Chevron oils, greases and lubricants, and a variety of tires and Delco batteries. Located on Highway 34 in Otis and Platner, Eisen Oil is your number one source for diesel, oil, gas, and propane needs. For all those road trip adventures through Northeast Colorado, they offer 24-hour pay-at-the-pump gas and diesel services. Eisen Oil, American product, American quality, affordable prices. This we're back, and Yuma ties it up on the kill. Had a chance to catch up with an old friend of ours during that timeout, Mr. Jim Deshant, new athletic director at Wiggins High School. Spent some time on the sideline coaching with him several years back. And that off of the 
Similar player and out of bounds. Yuma back in front. Well, that's Kalen Block back there. Hammering it away and into the net. Knotted at 15. Alexander down the middle. Popped up by... Mecklenburg and after the block Yuma unable to get it back over Semler goes up on top by one Alexander will go to Mecklenburg again doesn't handle it well keeps it alive Hickson bumps it over Mitchell sees an open spot and just taps it over into that void Alexander just over the shoulder of Mecklenburg, who thought it was going long, stepped away, and it fell right inside the baseline. Out to a three-point lead, and quickly, Yuma says no more. Timeout. A step away, too. Back in 30 to 60 seconds from Akron. Broadcast of high school sports is being brought to you courtesy of the Allen Bear Agency of Akron. In times of such economic uncertainty, let Allen Bear and his staff service stability when it comes to your insurance needs. With years of experience serving their community with products in auto, home, and life insurance, the Allen Bear Agency is also available for farm, crop, business, and health insurance as well. Give Allen and his team a call today at 970-345-2310 or stop in to 142 Adams in Akron to see how the Allen Bear Agency can serve you. And that was the final timeout of this game for Yuma. Alexander down the middle, popped up by Meckelberg. Back set for Traffigan, who just pounded over with a fist. George just dumped the set over, and big swing out of Powell dug up. George in, oh no, that wasn't George. That was Casey Smith hit it into the net, giving Yuma the point. Traffigan knocked it over. Block. That was Kenzie Mitchell blocked by Madison Powell. And... Sophomore showing a lot of emotion after that. Traffigan served, popped up by Casey Smith. Mitchell goes full swing. That one dug up. Powell bumps it over. Middle attack for Mitchell. And wide. Out of bounds. Ties us at 18. Traffigan served, bumped up by... George popped over by Mitchell. Middle attack, Corey dug up. Alexander just dumps one over. And I think that's Hansen did the same thing. So does Mitchell. And now Alexander just punks one into the net. Neither team able to get a couple. A good pass and a good set, so we can take a full swing. And Yuma now out to a two-point advantage as Simla has trouble handling the serve. Fair traffic and deep serve, pumped up by George. Scrambling, Katz gets it over. Alexander. And it'll be Mitchell in the middle, blocked, dug up. Well set Corey, she's dug by Brett Smith. And then Mitchell dumps one into the net. And Coach Snyder will take the timeout, trailing 21-18. 
One of the most important benefits of being a Premier Farm Credit member borrower is having the opportunity to share in the association's profits. Since 2001, Premier has paid out over $31 million in patronage dividends. If you want to be a part of a member-owned and controlled cooperative that offers interest rates that are competitive in the marketplace and committed to a patronage dividend program, call your local Premier Farm Credit office. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. Everybody knows that when a great opportunity, like an iPhone, presents itself, you grab it. Somebody says they've got tickets to the big game and can't go, you grab the tickets. Somebody tells you that you can get an iPhone at a special price, you grab it. And it's true. For a limited time, Viero has iPhones for only $79.99. And we'll even pay your early termination fees up to $200 when you switch to Viero. All that and coverage you can count on. So hurry into Viero today. Your iPhone is here. Out of the timeout, and that whole scramble set up by Yuma blocking Kenzie Mitchell with a big swing. Semla able to get one down on the Yuma side. That's Katz, and she cranks one wide. Yuma three points away from tying this match at one set apiece. Marina Hansen down the middle, pumped up by Brett Smith. Back row attack for Jessica George, gets it down. Semla within two. Mitchell, she'll abandon the jump serve this time, just go down Mecklenburg. It's a shoot set by See, I think that's Harif, and off of the similar player out of bounds. Yuma just two points away from not in this at one set apiece. Smith with the bump, and George takes a full swing. Yuma in the net, giving the point to Simla. And now we'll see Mickey Karenik come in. She pounded some serves earlier against Wiggins. Drives one right at Yuma. And that was Terrell who couldn't handle it. The overpass ends up in a point for Simla. Within one now. Karenik, she'll pound one this at Mecklenburg. And Corey just able to dump it over. Middle attack, George just out of the reach of Mecklenburg. Knotted at 23. This time Karenik just a little too strong and out of bounds. Set point now for the Lady Indians. And it will be Corey on the serve. Drives one deep. Kinsey Mitchell bought it up. George got it over. Dug up. Big swing out of Carroll. And Simla can't handle it. Out of bounds. Set two goes to the Yuma Lady Indians. 25-23. We'll be back for the third set here from the Akron Invitational in a couple of minutes on this big-time small-town media production of volleyball. ColoradoPreps.tv and Chassa.tv. Restrictions apply. See store for details. Yuma County Auto Supply is the leading Napa Auto Parts Center. Two convenient locations in Yuma and Ray are open Monday through Friday from 7 to 5.30 and on Saturdays from 7 to noon. They offer all the basic necessities for standard vehicle maintenance as well as high-quality parts for any automotive necessity. Whether you're changing your oil or rebuilding your tractor's engine, Yuma County Auto can help. They have a helpful service department, and for those impossible projects, they offer a full-service machine shop. So for any job, big or small, call Yuma County Auto in Ray or Yuma and get back on the move to today. 
Eisen Oil has been supporting our community for over 65 years and is the leading supplier in propane, Sinclair diesel and gas, Chevron oils, greases and lubricants, and a variety of tires and Delco batteries. Located on Highway 34 in Otis and Platner, Eisen Oil is your number one source for diesel, oil, gas, and propane needs. For all those road trip adventures through Northeast Colorado, they offer 24-hour pay-at-the-pump gas and diesel services. Eisen Oil, American product, American quality, affordable prices. Sitto has been a staple in eastern Colorado since 1971. Since 1977, Sitto has been your place to go for trusses, wall panels, and buildings. With state-of-the-art equipment allowing Sitto to stay on top of the truss industry, Sitto wants you to know that while the economy has affected everybody, it's allowed them to provide some different services while being able to maintain their spot as one of the top truss manufacturers in Colorado. Contact Sitto Building Components out of Otis at 800-925-3207. That's Sitto, proud to support Eastern Colorado. <laughs> And we're back in Akron High School. Kerry Sherman, big time small town media with you. We are knotted at one set apiece in the third match of the day here in Pool B. Yuma taking the second, 25-23 over Simla. And on the serve, bumped over by George, dug up by Meckleberg. Traffic and blocked by George. And George out of the middle, and she's blocked by Hansen, but it'll fall on the Yuma side of the net. First point of game match or set three to Simla. Back set for Traffic and just dinks it over. And Katz blocked by Traffic and. and that's George, able to get the off-speed hit down, just out of the reach of Traffigan. Powell digs it. Bumped over by Traffigan. Set for George and Yuma in the net. It's a quick 3-0 start for Simla. Down the middle, dug up by Powell. Middle hit for George, punched over by Hickson, and then George goes wide. Hickson lets it hit outside. Yuma on the board. Block checks in to serve it up for Yuma. Goes middle, George. The pass just a little wide for Alexander. Alexander couldn't get to it. And Yuma now with two straight. Block again down the middle. Goes to the Librero Smith. George off the block. Traff again. She'll go. Dug up by Casey Smith. George with a big swing this time and gets it down off the block. Or off the dig, rather. George drives it too deep, out of bounds. Point for the Lady Indians. Tara Traffigan will get ready to serve it up. She'll go down the middle, and Brett Smith shanks it. Alexander tried to track it down, got to it, but couldn't do anything with it. That ties us at four. Traffigan goes to George, dug it up. Mitchell popped up by Traffigan. Now the attack from Powell into the net. Point to Simla. It'll be Alexander, but to put it in play. Popped up by Block, hit over by Powell, and she won't catch the corner. Another point for the Lady Cubs. Powell able to bump it over. 
Middle dink from Kenzie Mitchell. Second time on the overpass. Swing, uh, swung a little harder and got it down off of a Yuma defender. Lead back out to three. Serve goes to Mecklenburg. Pops it up. Powell attack done. Got up by Alexander. Bumped over by Casey Smith. Hansen just popped it over. The middle. That's a little dink from Mitchell. And it hits the floor. Makes it a double up situation. 8-4 and a timeout quickly by Yuma. Get your DVD copies of The Adventure Seeing Live online at BigTimeSmallTown.com. Hi, I'm Ben Blecka, owner, founder, and one of the talents of Big Time Small Town Media. Very glad you're enjoying the broadcast we're bringing to you live online. But don't forget, you can have this broadcast whenever and wherever you want with a purchase of the DVD from Big Time Small Town Media. Go to www.BigTimeSmallTown.com. There you can check out all of the games that we've got from any past tournaments. We've been doing this for just more than a year, and Big Time Small Town Media is proud to be more than sports. We're community. Simla leading 8-4. to four. The third set of the third match. It's a best of five. Winner to the championship. Loser goes to third place. Corey with the dink. Dug up by Casey Smith. And... A little bit of miscommunication on the Simla sideline or side and makes it eight to five. Yuma with the point. Marina Hansen back. See if she'll go with the jump serve again. Does punches it down. Pumped up by George. Big swing out of Mitchell. Too big and out. Hansen go middle again. This one for Brett Smith. Set for Casey Smith. Got it off the net and drops it right in front of Madison Powell. Now Brett Smith getting to serve as the libero. Set for Corey. And she hits it out of bounds on the sideline. Smith again down the middle. Got up there by Block. Corey had to reach, falling off balance, and got the kill down the sideline. Tristan Bakke comes in, serve for Yuma. Short serve, no one there. Finds the floor for the ace. It's a 10-8. Similar lead, Baki again. And nearly found the floor again. Brett Smith got it up, and then Kenzie Mitchell put it down. Mitchell will head back to do the serving. Her team leading by three. Going back to the jump serve. Spun one. Found the, found a spot on the floor for the ace. That spot in beach volleyball known as the husband-wife spot. Lack of communication falls in between two players. Mecklenburg gets this one up. Back set for Corey. Puts it down. Corey heads back to do the serving. And punches it down the middle. Dug up by Mitchell. Out for George. George goes cross court. Dug up by Bakke. Punched over by Terrell. Middle hit for George. Blocked by Harriff and Traffigan. This time the swing is for Casey Smith. Two Yuma defenders swung and missed, and luckily for them, it went too long and out of bounds for the point. And that one by Corey wide to the right and point to Simla. 
Casey Smith served, dug up by Hansen, and Harif unable to pop it out of the net. So Smith will head back to serve again. This one deeper. Hansen pops it up. Swing from traffic again. Angle finds the floor. Hickson will come in, replacing Harriff in the Yuma lineup. And Hickson will serve. Punches it down the middle. Caught Mitchell a little off guard. Got it up. George off speed. Dug up by Hickson. And then Terrell pounds it into the net. Similar point. They go up by four. Lutz, her serve, dug up. Traffic in, just kind of pumps one up in the air. Got it over. Back set for George. Hansen got it up. Katz dumps it over. Hansen does the same. Swing out of Mitchell, dug up, or George. That was dug by Hickson. Mitchell hits a little off-speed shot over. Now, Hansen dug by Smith. George blocked. Terrell goes for the corner, dug up by Mitchell. The swing out of Katz and put it into the net. Extended rally goes to Yuma. They're back to within three. Kalen Block comes in. She'll serve for Yuma. Goes to the libero, Brett Smith. George, she is dug by Mecklenburg. Hansen goes off speed, off the net cord. And the English carried it off of a similar player out of bounds. Block again. Serves Smith. Joust at the net, one by Alexander. Now, traffic and dug by Mitchell. Mitchell with the back row attack, and she'll pound it off of the hand of Block and out of bounds. George on the serve. Attack by, that was traffic in. Mitchell, she's dug by Mecklenburg. Traffigan wanted it in the middle, didn't get a good set. She was dug, and then Mitchell finds the open spot in the Yuma defense for the point. George again on the serve. Down the middle, Mecklenburg. Left-handed attack from... That was Powell. And Hansen catches the similar defense flowing one way, hits it back across the grain for the point. Traffic will serve down by three. Down the middle, Smith digs it up. Mitchell's big swing blocked by Hansen. They'll set her again. Again, this time dug, blocked by Carly Corey. And complete lack of talk on the Simla side. Ball hits the floor. Yuma within two. Afkin set serves. Dug up by Smith. Big swing out of Mitchell. Too big again and out of bounds. Lead is one. Cats will come in, back into the similar lineup. Traffigan serves it to Smith. Shot over by Alexander and out of bounds. And ties it up at 17. Mitchell's big swing finds the floor this time.
Alexander serves it short to Corey. Mecklenburg will just shoot it over. Overpass put back by Powell. It was tipped back over. Corey tried to put it back over and caught Semla in the net to tie it up. Hanson's jump serve. Dug up by Brett Smith. Middle. That's Mitchell off the net. Dug by Block. And Mitchell puts it down on the overpass. Brett Smith on the serve. Comes to Harriff. And... Yuma a little out of sorts. The lead goes to two for Simla. Smith again. She'll serve block. Harriff just bumps it over. Set for Mitchell. Into the block. Another try for Simla. George is dug by block. Out. And Corey unable to time her jump. And hits it into the net. Timeout. Yuma, as they've seen Simla pull out to a three-point lead. Here's a simple math problem. What's one plus one? Two, you say? Not at Bank of Colorado. Here, one plus one add up to free. Because our personal free checking and personal free collection give you twice as much free. You'll start with free checking, free online banking, free telebank access, free pin pay, no service fees, and more. And when you add on, you'll get a free savings account, free appraisal with your next mortgage, and more. So if you're into free, apply today to open a new account by visiting bankofcolorado.com, where one plus one equals free. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Back here, third set of the final pool play match in Pool B. Semla out 21-18. We're knotted at one set apiece. Brett Smith goes deep, bumped up by Block. Harriff on the attack, and too strong. Smith serves block, and Corey dumps it over. Middle for Mitchell. She did the same thing, and that was enough goofy spin on it that Yuma couldn't handle it. Semla two points away from taking a two sets to one lead in this best of five. Smith to Harris, Mecklenburg. And Corey will just have to bump it over. Mitchell tried to go on a nice little cut shot and cupped it right into the net. Tristan Bakke on for Yuma. She'll serve down by four. Short serve, pumped up. Barely by Brett Smith. Corey. She's dug by George. And no one can get to the, for the second hit. Bakke. Now down three. Again short. Smith sprinted up to get it. And Mitchell found an opening in the defense. And puts it down. Semla now with set point, and it'll be Mitchell serving it up. That was Terrell, got it up. Just set over by <coughs> Yuma. This time the attack from Corey. She got the block, now pokes it over. Big swing, back row attack. Mitchell dug by Bakke, but unable to control it and out of bounds for set point. Simla responds, comes back and wins 
That's at 25-20. Number four coming up in a couple of minutes here from Akron High School. Quality is not just in our name, it's our way of life. From setting up the new Valley 8000 or approving invoices in the office, we want to strive for excellence here at Quality Irrigation in Yuma and uphold the quality name. We believe our customers deserve it because Quality is a proud Valley dealer and we care about all your water needs from domestic and stock wells to pump service. So for all your water needs, please give us a call. Quality Irrigation in Yuma. Valley, the leader in precision irrigation. In 1916, it is estimated that producing 100 bushels of corn took approximately 35 to 40 hours. Today, it is estimated that producing the same 100 bushels takes less than three. A lot has changed in the last 95 years, but one thing has stayed the same. Farm credit is still the lender of choice for America's farmers and ranchers. We are passionate about agriculture and are dedicated to serving America in good times and bad. This is Jordan Wilkie in the Yuma Lending Office. Give us a call today to see how we can help you. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. Glossing Construction is your one-stop shop with concrete work, drywall, flooring, roofing, and stucco, everything including the final finishing nail handle projects throughout northeastern Colorado. You need to get in touch with Rick at Glossing Construction, located at 801 East 4th Street in Akron. If Rick can't build it, no one can. Call 970-345-2087. From start to finish, trust Glossing Construction as your one-stop shop for construction. Call 970-345-2087. Insurance is something we all need in our lives, and it's nice to know that when you're in need of insurance, you can count on the expertise of Dave and Linda Frank at Main Street Insurance. 20 years experience will reassure you that the friendly folks at Main Street Insurance will help you find the crop, auto, home, farm, or life insurance that fits your needs. Give Main Street Insurance a call at 848-5382 or stop by 400 South Main in Yuma. Insurance with a personal touch. Who would have thought of that? Yuma County Auto Supply is the leading Napa Auto Parts Center. Two convenient locations in Yuma and Ray are open Monday through Friday from 7 to 5.30 and on Saturdays from 7 to noon. They offer all the basic necessities for standard vehicle maintenance as well as high quality parts for any automotive necessity. Whether you're changing your oil or rebuilding your tractor's engine, Yuma County Auto can help. They have a helpful service department and for those impossible projects, they offer a full service machine shop. So for any job, big or small, call Yuma County Auto in Ray or Yuma and get back on the move today. First point of this third, uh, fourth game goes to Yuma after the attack is blocked out of bounds. George able to get the serve up, and then Mitchell collides with a teammate. They both get up. That was Katz. Mitchell from the back row, dug up by... <laughs> going... Starting to lose my mind here. Can't remember all these names. It was Mecklenburg who dug it up. And we'll go out of bounds off of Simlip. Second point goes to Yuma. Hickson comes too, too strong and just misses the back corner. Yuma thought that was ruled in. Officials said no. Casey Smith digs. Mitchell dumps it down just inside the line to tie it. George drives it down the middle. Attack from Traffigan. Mitchell had the block but couldn't dig it out and Yuma goes back on top. Kalen block in to serve. Dug up by Brett Smith. Mitchell dug by Powell. Meckleberg tracks it down. Block. Tried to get it over. Came up a little short. Alexander will head back. Tied at three. Serve for Simla. Into the net, and it'll fall on the Simla side. Traffic in. Her serve shanked by 
Casey Smith and out of bounds. Point for Yuma. Smith handles this serve. Set for Mitchell. Got it through the block and down for the point. Yuma put up a triple block and Mitchell still able to get it through. Official making sure there's not moisture on the floor. Brett Smith dug up by block. That was, I believe that was Powell blocked by Mitchell. Yuma gets it back over. Swing for Mitchell off the block and down. Ties us at five. Again, it's Brett Smith on the serve. Down the middle, dug up by block. And Carly Corey gets one to roll right along the tape and fall at the most opportune moment. Jump serve from Hansen. Up by Mitchell, overpass and He's hit back over by Corey. Corey again, and this one too strong. Out of bounds. Ties it at six. Kenzie Mitchell on the jump serve. And that was Block. Dove for it, got it to the net. Nobody there to help get it over. It's a point for the Lady Cubs. This time, Harriff digs it up, overpass. And George comes up for the swing. Again on an overpass. Dumped over by Corey. Shoot set from George. And a big swing out of Powell, dug up. Back row attack, Mitchell dug in the back row by Mecklenburg. George blocked at the net by Powell. Casey Smith dug by Mecklenburg. Powell again, big hit, dug by Brett Smith. And Simla just able to get it over. Lady Cubs scrambling, playing good defense. Mitchell's gonna get the kill. Yeah, one of the better ma rallies we've seen today. Mitchell again, and Yuma out of rotation. That'll be a point for the Lady Cubs. And we've got a timeout from the Yuma coaching staff. We'll take it with them, 30 seconds here from Akron High School. Today I'm covering a developing story at a Case IH dealership. For more, let's talk to Jim, a sales rep. Jim, what's all the commotion? Well, folks have heard about the big savings on next season's Case IH combines and tractors. Thanks, Jim. We'll continue to monitor this developing story. Head to your local Case IH dealer for the year's best prices and to ensure on-time delivery. For more, visit CaseIH.com. Or visit Farmer's Implement of Yuma, Colorado. Back with you, Kerry Sherman, Big Time Small Town Media. We're happy to be producing every match of this Akron Invitational Tournament for ColoradoPreps.tv and Chassa.tv. Ben Blecka had action in Pool A and will probably bring you, the, I believe, all three of the placings this afternoon. Mitchell from the back row. She'll just set it over. Now, off, here's a big hit. Little swing, but big power from Carly Corey, and she'll get it off of the Semla defense. 
for the point. Short serve, pancaked up by Casey Smith. From the back row, Mitchell trying to again shoot it over and hits it into the net. Brings it back to a one point game. 9 8. Baki from the back drives it deep. Mitchell got it up. George on the attack and gets it down right in front of Baki for the 10th point of the, con con uh, huh. <laughs> of the set for Simla. Casey Smith dug up in the back row by Baki. And Murphy hits it into the net and out of bounds. Casey Smith dug up back row by Baki. George with the block at the net. And this time Alexander, she'll block Murphy and get it down on the Yuma side for another point. And that one too strong from Casey Smith. The point over to the Lady Indians. Alexander just dumps it over. This time, powders it over. Off the block and down for the point. Hanna Lutz now on to serve. Drives it to the middle. It was Hansen stepped in the way. Traffic and dug up by Mitchell. Back row set for Mitchell. Dug by Bucky. Traffic in from the middle and gets it down. Thirteen ten is our score. Simla in front. They lead two sets to one. Again in this best of five. Hickson down the middle, popped up by Brett Smith. Mitchell will set one across. Back set for, um, can't really tell who that was. <laughs> Struggling to s tell the numbers here from Yuma. I believe the first one was for Hanson, and then Traffic and powders it for the kill. Yeah, the first attack was number 12. I can see that now. Down the middle, too deep, out of bounds. Service error. Point for the Lady Cubs. And Jessica George will now step back to take her turn at service. And she'll send it too long and out of bounds. Kaylin Block comes in to serve for the Lady Indians. Hard down the middle, dug up by Brett Smith. Set for Mitchell, dug out. Shoots it across the net. There's a big swing out of Powell. Doug, George, just gets it over. Lock digs it up. Middle hit for Traffic was dug out. Mitchell with the big hit. And again, when she reaches back for that little bit extra, it goes down in a hurry. Simla back up three. Alexander. Floats one down to block. Swing from Traffigan. Too tall and gone. Alexander again serves it to block. Powell, cross court dug up by George. Middle hit, just a little dink from Mitchell. Gets it down for point number 17. Lead is out to five. Alexander soft serve, dug up by Mecklenburg. Hit out of the middle for Hansen is 
off of Lady Cub and down for the point. Traffic and serve into the net. Back to the five point advantage for Simla. Brett Smith now at the line and she serves it back into the net for a point to Yuma. Marina Hansen, seen some good service out of her today from Yuma. She'll pop the jump serve down the middle and Smith able to get it up for Mitchell dug up by Mecklenburg. And a little off-speed hit from Corey will finally find its way to the floor and gets the Lady Indians back to within three at 18-15. Hansen goes short, and Smith with the dive just gets on it, but unable to get it up. And Semla will take the timeout as they've seen their lead cut to two. Since 1968, Interstate Irrigation on East Highway 34 has been providing our community with municipal and agricultural parts and service. Interstate Irrigation uses only high-quality parts, including chem valves, butterfly valves, water meters, all types and sizes of gaskets, water screening systems, and various sizes of professional-grade galvanized dog legs. Interstate Irrigation will go far and wide to help keep your water and sewer system functioning at the highest possible level. Whether you need parts, service, or simply an answer to a question, call 848-5809 and let Ward or Ray at Interstate Irrigation fill all your system needs. Out of the timeout by Simla, as they've seen Yuma rally to close to within two here in the fourth set. Again, Marina Hansen pounds one down the middle on the jump serve. Dug out by Smith. Mitchell directs it down for the point. And then Mitchell heads back to serve. Off speed on the jump serve and gets the ace as it lands in front of Kalen Block. And Yuma will take the time, time out now down by four. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. Mitchell serve, dug up in the back row, overpass. Now, bumped over by Yuma. Quick in the middle for George, off the net, and dug up by Block. Shot over by Harriff. In for George in the middle, blocked and off of Carly Corey to the floor. Lead up to five. Simla four points away from playing for the championship. Serve dug up by Block. And Simla not able to handle that off-speed hit from Harif. <laughs> Officials needing to get some spectators a little farther off the floor. Baki serve. Now George hits the line for the point. Right in front of the Yuma bench. 22 to 17 is our count. And the finisher is on Mickey Karinik. Hard down the middle, dug up by Mecklenburg, punched over by Corey. And on the overpass, Murphy puts it down. And Karenik will come back out. She's replaced by Casey Smith, serving specialist for the Lady Cubs. 
Attack from George, dug up in the back by Bakke. Joust at the net, and Alexander wins it. Gets her team two points from the victory. Lutz waffles one down, dug up by Meckelberg. Hit over by, I believe, Traffigan. Blocked at the net by Traffigan and down. Seen some very good play out of the big freshman from Yuma today. Bright future ahead of her. Hickson on. Serves it down to Brett Smith. George dug up. Eh. Similar playing through the point, got it over. Smith, now for George, off the net, bumped over by Traffigan. And George blocked by Traffigan and Murphy. This one dug out by Mecklenburg. Going on two was Yuma. George blocked by Traffigan. And George in the net on the swing, point to Yuma. They're down three. Hickson dug up by Mitchell, overpass, put down by Traffigan. Twenty-three, twenty-one. Hickson on the serve. Popped up by Mitchell, overpass, joust at the net. And this one will go out of bounds off of Mitch of Alexander. It's down to a one-point game, 23-22. Hickson in serving Mitchell. That hit by George through the block and in. Match point for Simla. They lead 24-22. It's Jessica George served to Bakke. Set is for Hansen off the block and down. Yuma staves off one match point. This is another one still as they trail 24-23. Kalen Block on to serve. Serves Brett Smith. Bit of an overpass. Mitchell blocked by Traffigan and out of bounds against Simla. We are tied at 24. <laughs> Block again. <laughs> Mitchell and out of bounds. Yuma now with the match point. And a timeout by Simla. Eisen Oil has been supporting our community for over 65 years and is the leading supplier in propane, Sinclair diesel and gas, Chevron oils, greases and lubricants, and a variety of tires and Delco batteries. Located on Highway 34 in Otis and Platner, Eisen Oil is your number one source for diesel, oil, gas, and propane needs. For all those road trip adventures through Northeast Colorado, they offer 24-hour pay-at-the-pump gas and diesel services. Eisen Oil, American product, American quality, affordable prices. Akron Autos, proud to be the best pre-owned automobile dealership in northeastern Colorado. Quickly expanding, Akron Auto has two locations. The original on Highway 34 in Akron, and a second on Highway 34 in Fort Morgan. Match point for Yuma. Big swing from Mitchell. She's blocked. Traffic and pound puts it over. George will shoot it over for Simla. From the middle, traffic and dug up by George. Now from the middle, it's Mitchell. She puts it down in the middle of the floor. We're tied at 25. And it's Marilyn Alexander to serve. Bumped over by Traffigan. In the middle, it's Mitchell. 
Hen swinging like she's angry, bringing up match point. Simla had two of them just a few minutes ago. Yuma fought them off. Simla fought off a match point or a set point against. Traffic in out of the middle, dug up, shot over by George. In serving, setting mid traffic in, dug up. Set this time for Powell. She's dug by Alexander Mitchell, and down and in. That is the match. Simla wins in four evenly contested games.